Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another one here on the channel. In today's video, I got a short one for you and it deals with a specification on a battery that maybe I was wrong on in a previous video. So let's jump right into it and get started. In a previous video, we talked about a specification of a battery pack, one of them being the C rating, in which case manufacturers more than likely are not representing the correct value for a C rating on the label of their pack. And what we said is that it would be a lot more difficult to do this with the capacity of the pack, but there is a way that we are learning that it possibly could be manipulated even for a battery pack when it comes to capacity. And that's what we're going to be talking about here very quickly. When it comes to this specific battery pack, it's measured in at a 5,000 milliamp hour according to the manufacturer of the cell. However, the reseller, in this case, it's a Z battery pack, has actually specified it as a 5,200 milliamp hour. This is the exact same thing that I was talking about that I didn't think manufacturers or brands would do. And here brings a case where maybe this is a possibility where brands can actually misrepresent it, or maybe there's another thing that plays out here that's a little bit different. And let's jump into those elements now and talk about them. So the first thing is, yes, it is completely possible that a brand can kind of misrepresent the values like they're doing with C ratings just to make some sort of marketing hype. You know just as much as I do that if a brand is specifying 5200 and you compare that up against a 5,000 and all else is equal, you are going to buy the 5,200 every single day of the week. There's not much of a reason to have a battery pack that has less capacity when everything else is equal. The other thing that could be happening here is that battery testing standards are not really standardized across the board and across the entire industry. So what could happen from the battery manufacturer or the cell manufacturer is that they can take an average amount of capacity that they get from the cells that they are testing, where the brand here in a case Z could actually be testing and taking the best value that they had from the actual test results. It doesn't mean it's necessarily wrong, it just means they're taking a peak versus someone else that might be taking an average, and no one of course wants to take the lows because that doesn't represent a good value. So it could be a couple things that's going on here with these batteries. Let me know in the comments section below what you think is going on here with these specifications. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.